video today we'll be reviewing what if episode one this episode came out today and stars Haley atwell and sebastian stan now before we start with hit that like button subscribe and post notification bell so you can know for a free video once it's started let's start talking about the good so all the actors and actresses in this episode thought they're all great um Haley atwell plays captain carter uh sebastian stan of course bucky barnes josh keaton and jeffrey wright are also very good in this um, episode uh, the opening credit sequence. Now, the opening credit sequence, I thought it was very unique. Um, fits the tone of this uh, TV show and this first episode. Um, the opening sequence. Now, the opening sequence, fantastic. A wonderful opening sequence. Captured my attention immediately. And this episode is very well done. From that opening sequence, that opening sequence sets up many things that happen throughout this episode. Um... The animation, animation, fantastic. Great animation. Um, it's very different from other uh, animated films. Of course, animation, the first thing that comes to your mind is probably Pixar and Disney. This animation feels very different. Um, it's not trying to copy Disney uh, and um, Pixar's animation style. Very different animation. Um, but I thought it works very, very well, and it looks fantastic. Um, the character introductions. Now, the character introductions were very well done. Um, they introduced the characters in ways that they weren't introduced before. Um, like in Captain America, the first Avenger, Haley Atwell, who plays Peggy Carter, was not introduced like that in this episode. Because um, this obviously deals with the multiverse and... Uh, different characters and changing them up a bit but the introductions were very unique and very interesting for these characters um, the role reversals now there are some clever role reversals in this episode I'm not going to say what but some characters have roles that other characters had and some of them are sort of used for a uh, comedic effect uh, for you know maybe um there's one sequence in this episode that is definitely uh, sort of hinting at something in the future. But one of the characters in this episode, I'm not going to say who, uh, sort of makes a joke about his character in uh, one of the previous films. I think it was Captain America, the first Avenger. He makes a joke about one of, uh, about his character. And I thought it works very well in this episode. Um, the Hydra Monster. Now, there is a Hydra Monster in this episode. Um, I don't know what the name of this creature is, but it's awesome. It's an awesome Hydra monster, um, and I think it works very well for this episode. Uh, the action sequences. Now, the action sequences, fantastic. Um, they look very well done. The animation, like I said, fantastic. The action sequences look like... They sort of look like live action action sequences. Um, it was entertaining very fun some animated films don't have as good um of action sequences as this tv show but this tv show fantastic action sequences that make you feel like you're watching an actual marvel film um there are some hilarious sequences in this episode of course all marvel films have to have the comedy and this episode has comedy and it works very well um, there are some sequences that are supposed to be emotional where there's no comedy and i thought that marvel uh, well, the director of this TV show did a good job with that in this episode. Um, there are, I would say, there are a few twists in this episode. Now, the twists are not uh, major, but like I said earlier, in the Captain America, the first Avenger, there are some twists that happen throughout this um, episode that are sort of completely different from things that happened in that film. Um, and the multiverse. The multiverse is explored even further in this episode. And I think by the time we get to Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, the multiverse is going to be all over the place. Of course, hence the title Multiverse of Madness. But the What If show, this episode, it did a good job with setting up future events. So the multiverse is obviously uh, the main part of this TV show. And I think it worked very well. It was awesome to see different characters and how they interact with other characters, how they changed from the films that they were in. So the multiverse, fantastic. 
um, the score. Now the score was very well done and it fits perfectly with this um, time period. Of course, this is during uh, Captain America, the first Avenger. So it's during uh, the World War. And I think it was very well done. Very, very well done. The score fits the tone and the, um, and the setting of this episode. Uh, the ending sequence. Now the ending sequence with the Watcher who was voiced by Jeffrey Wright. Uh, I thought it was good. Um, I don't know who the Watcher is. Uh, I looked him up and he's this um, sort of being in the universe in Marvel. And I thought it was, I thought it was good. I thought it was a good ending sequence. Um, to people who don't know who the Watcher is, uh, I, I would say that you probably won't get it like I did. But I thought it works for this episode, and I thought Jeffrey Wright does a great job of voicing him because he's really, it's kind of weird. It's kind of weird what they do with the Watcher. I don't know what they're going to use the Watcher for in this TV show, uh, but the ending sequence sort of, well, to me, it hinted like he was going to be um, one of the uh, big uh, players inside of this TV show. So the ending sequence, I thought it was great. Um, that's about it. There's nothing bad about this episode. What If Episode 1 is a fantastic first episode, and I highly recommend it, and I'm gonna give What If Episode 1 an A. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the post notification bell so you can hear for a free video. I'm Peter. Thanks for watching.